In today's lesson, we're going to look at how to solve two-step linear equations. This is really just a linear representation equation of a line where the solution is 23 for y. We want to find out the value of x at that point. So what we need to do first off is define some terms. So this term, this first is a term, there's actually three terms. This one, the 2x, the 7, and the 23. So we have three terms. This first term is what's called a letter term because it has a letter in it. So it has the variable x as a part of it, and so we call it a letter term. And this one, the 7, is a number term. And so is the 23. So we have two number terms and one letter term in this equation. Now, as we think about solving equations or doing mathematics, oftentimes we work with what's called an order of operations, which would be parentheses and then exponents, multiplication and division, which are equal operations, and then addition or subtraction, which again are equal operations. Some people have remembered the acronym PEMDAS to remember this order, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. When we solve equations, we actually reverse that order. We think about subtraction and addition first, or addition, subtraction, and then multiplication and division next, and then if there are exponents, we would do those, and then we would deal with parentheses last. So in dealing with order of operations, we want to look at these processes and see which ones are taking place. So if we look at this one, we actually have addition right here. And we have multiplication. multiplication. 2 times x. So we have multiplication and addition. Over here there's no operation, so on this side. And the object of this whole process is to find the solution for x. What's the value of x that makes this true? So 2 times what number plus 7 would give you 23. Now the procedure that we would follow to do this, rewrite that equation down here, 2x plus 7 equals 23, is we would again look here to our order of operations backwards. Is there addition or subtraction in this problem? Yes, there is. There's addition. And so what we would do is undo that first. And so our first step is to add the opposite number term to both sides. So we want to think in terms of the number term. What's the opposite of plus 7? would be minus 7. And we're going to add that to both sides. So I'm going to set it up like a normal addition problem if you would work up and down from. And so we're going to work down in this 2x. Since we didn't do anything to the 2x, it's just going to come down. The plus 7 and minus 7, the additive inverse of plus 7 is minus 7, makes this 0, which makes it go away, which is the object to get everything away from the x and then 27, and then plus a negative 7, or you can think of it as 23 minus 7 is 16. And so now we've simplified this problem a little bit. We've done one step, and now we need to do one more step, a second step. And if you see here in this case, we have multiplication, and so the way to undo multiplication is with division. So now we're going to divide both sides. by the multiplier, or coefficient sometimes it's called, the multiplier of x. So whatever we're multiplying x by, in this case we're going to divide both sides by. So 2x divided by 2 gives you 1x, or just x, and 16 divided by 2 gives you 8. And so 8 is the solution to this equation for x, x equals 8. And we could actually check that by putting the 8 in. 2 times 8 
plus 7 should equal 23, which means 2 times 8 is 16, plus 7 equals 23. And that is true, that 23 is equal to 23. And that's what equal means, is what's on the left side is equal to what's on the right side. And so the object was to find this value for x that makes this true. And it takes really two steps, adding the opposite and then dividing by the multiplier of x. And so there's one example of how to do two steps to solve a, an equation. So let's do another example. So if we start with a problem like this, and we have a letter term and a number term and another number term. And the object is to find out what x is equal to by getting everything away from the x, basically undoing everything in here. Now this one might not be quite as obvious because the negative 6 is over here, and the operation we would think of as subtraction, it's almost like you would think of subtract 6 and add 5 times x. So the question would be, what's the operation taking place here? Well, you can think of everything as addition, just of positive and negative numbers. So here we're adding a negative 6. So my first step is the same as I did before. I always want to look for the number term first, because we want to do addition and subtraction first. And we'll do multiplication division seconds. First step is always to add the opposite number term to both sides of the equation. So we're going to add the opposite of negative 6, which is positive 6, to both sides. And I like to keep the equal sign between to remind us that the whole idea here is we're trying to keep this thing balanced. We can't do something to one side that we don't do to the other, otherwise it's no longer equal. We can add 6 to both sides because that keeps this in balance. And since we did the additive inverse of negative 6, it makes 0, so this goes away. The 5x is still positive, nothing changed. And if we put the 4 and the 6 together, we get 10. And so we did our first step. And now because we have multiplication, we're going to divide. This is like a one-step problem we've done before. Divide both sides by the multiplier of x. So if we're dividing both sides by the multiplier of x, we're dividing both sides by 5. And so 5 divided by 5 is 1. Some people would say the 5's cancel. They really, in a sense, don't cancel. They just equal 1. So when you take a number divided by itself, so we have 1x, which is just x, and 10 divided by 5 is 2, which gives us the solution for x, which we could check. 6 plus 5 times 2 equals 4. So negative 6 plus 10 equals 4. So if you take a negative 6 and a positive 10, you get 4 equals 4. So our solution for x is true. So let's do one more quick example just to make sure we have this down now. Sometimes it it's a little odd when the solution is on the left and the equation part is on the right, but the whole thing makes up an equation, and whether they're left or right doesn't really matter. So the first step, again, identifying terms, I have a number term, letter term, number term. We're trying to get everything away from this x, so the first term we need to deal with is this number term that's a negative 3. So it's like minus 3. Negatives and minus, same thing. This is minus 7x, or you can think of it as just a negative 7x. So since I have a positive 3 here, or negative 3 here, I'm going to add 3 to both sides. Positive 3 to both sides. And so then negative 17 and a positive 3 is negative 14 when I combine those. 
and then because I use the objective inverse, this becomes 0, and I'm left with a negative 7x. Now don't forget that negative that belongs to the 7x, and so this again comes down just as a negative 7x. So now I have a negative 7 times x equals 14. It's multiplication, so I'm going to divide both sides by negative 7. And so a negative 14 divided by a negative 7 is a positive 2. Negative divided by negative is positive 2. So 2 equals and a negative 7 divided by a negative 7 is 1. Again, this idea is that the 7's cancel. And so I'm left with x. So 2 equals x. For some reason, sometimes that bothers people. We could actually write it this way. It would mean the same thing. x equals 2. 2 equals x or x equals 2. And we could check it by putting it back into the equation. Negative 17 equals negative 3 minus 7 times 2. So what we have is negative 17 equals negative 3. A negative 7 times a positive 2 is negative 14. We can think of it as minus 14. And the reality is when we take a negative 3 and a negative 14 and put them together, we get negative 17. And so it works. So the whole key to two-step problems is to basically do the number term first, opposite of the number term, and then divide by the multiplier of x. So kind of a simple mental math way sometimes people do it is just subtract this from both sides, or add this to both sides, or add the opposite of this to both sides, and then divide by whatever this term is. And that's how you solve two-step equations.